Hello everybody, Sift here again, and today I will be playing 20 minutes till dawn. Now I have played the 10 minutes till dawn game before, but uh, yeah, this game got uh, in early access, so uh, let's let's do it. Now in case you haven't seen footage of this, this is like a power trip vampire survivors type game, but you control your character normally and you can shoot wherever you want, etc. And also there aren't really like weird weapons, we mostly have actual weapons. Now, uh, early access thing got new things, three new characters and three new weapons and also a rune system. Rune system is, you know, talent tree, I'm gonna go through it in a bit. Now for the new weapons, we got Spark uh, characters. Your bullets have a percent chance to cool down lightning on impact of 5 damage. Uh, Lilith, when enemies are killed, summon a spirit. Spirit chase down nearby enemies and deal 8 damage. So she's most likely to summon a character in the Abbey. Right click to quickly shoot all of your remaining ammo in random directions. I'm most likely going to play Abbey because I think this effect is the most fun one. And then for weapons, we've got dual SMGs. Wield 2 rapid shooting guns. Upgrade apply separately to each gun. Triggers own shoot effect twice. Okay, and then we got shoots... Uh, bat gun shoots bats that chase down enemies. Bats are both bullets and summon, so that is pretty much the weapon for the summoner build. And then grenade launcher shoot explosive grenades. Grenade explosions can hurt you. Now the fact that the grenade explosions can hurt you is really bad, but they do 45 damage, which is a lot. I would say let's go with dual SMGs with Abby here. Uh, we're gonna be flippy spinning, doing anything. And now about the runes. Uh, this system is the one that uh, you choose what you want to go for. You can't have everything. And uh, I specifically have chosen to go with 10% damage and summon damage. Although for this character, I think fire rate and reload rate would be a lot better. But uh, actually, let's go fire rate and uh, attack speed. Actually, right, let's go this. And then we will go enemies take 3 extra damage per rank while within my vision range. So whatever is close to me will get more damage. There are other things that have to do with uh, opponents burning and flaming and whatnot. And then for the other two choices I have gone with, vision range, pickup range, um, increased by 3%. That obviously combos with the opponents taking more damage when they're close to me. And then also I get a bit of movement speed every time I pick up XP. Uh, I'm not sure if I've picked the best passives here and whatnot, but uh, in general, uh, I went over them here real quick in case you want to read them. But in general, I think they are pretty decent. So let's go with Abby here and let's see how it goes. Then also they added a standard mode and a quick play mode. So standard mode is a 20 minute run and quick play mode is the demo run. So the 10 minutes, but more XP. Now they also added, as you see, ascension level. So a bunch of things all around, but let's go. Okay, let's see how this is going to go. Boom, 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 boom. Here is our new little egg gun. Continue attacking everywhere. This is, you know, my normal attack, as you see. And this is my special attack. As you see, it looks awesome, but it's pretty random. Uh, now, this is obviously going to become better through time, right? Because the moment we start having good reload, the moment we start having, you know, more damage, attack speed, etc. I'm going to be like flippy spinning and then everything like instantly dies. Or at least that's the plan, right? At least that's the plan. Now, for right now, uh, I have played this a bit. And I have done a couple of test runs in, the, in this new early access version. And the plan right now is to go for flame related damage. Uh, this is also good. Every second shot calls down lightning to strike 22 damage. This is obviously good because um, I want to get a million things that have to do with every time I shoot XYZ happens. So we're gonna go with this, Electromagnet. So from here on out, every time I right click, a bunch of lightnings are gonna drop. Do you see this? Do you see this madness? Do you see this madness? I'm just like boom, 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 boom. And because I'm shooting extremely fast, everything gets randomly electrified. Which is obviously better than this rate of firing, but not that the other rate is bad. Uh, reload, I would say, guaranteed. Also, Pyromage for sure. Uh, I want both of these, but I think Pyro is more important. Specifically, this thing that says on every fourth shot, launch a fireball that does 40 damage. So, like, I right click and then, like, five or six fireballs go out. In general, pretty crazy, in my opinion. I'm gonna see everything. As I said, I, I did a couple of test runs to see what is what. What is what? What is what is what? Now let's go around. Spinny flipping. Electricity doing 26 and 22 damages. And also now I also apply flame. Uh, the good thing with the spin is that you don't lose movement speed. Like when you attack, you lose movement speed in this game. Well, spin is not like that. And we got the fourth shot launched as a fireball. So let's take that. And now I should be start shooting out fireballs. I mean, look at this. Now we start actually shooting out fireballs. And now the only thing I actually need to do, uh, which by the way, do 20 damage, uh, 40 damage, which is pretty decent. Uh, if you think that the lightning does 20 and my bullets do 4, then yeah, 40 damage is a lot. And now, obviously, the next upgrades I want to get is uh, attack speed, reload. First of all, reload. Like, I definitely need reload, a bunch of reload, and then also attack speed. Bullet damage and knockback not really that useful. When lightning strikes an enemy, there is a chance to get 3 ammo. It's gonna make my spin last longer. Uh, light weaponry. No, I don't care about the summons. Projectiles more, spread more, but less bullet damage. I also don't care about that either. Magic Lens, most of these are bad for us. Uh, I think I want to go with chance to gain back thing. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go with this chance to get back bullets. 
Although I don't really enjoy that because it anti-combos with the reload mechanic in general. But it's okay, let's go on. Anti-combos with the reload mechanic because, you know, for the fact that I'm gonna not be able to reload. And actually, no, not because of that. Because when you try to reload and then randomly you get one bullet back, you have to reload from the beginning again. Although, it might not even be that relevant at the end of the day. Let's see, by the way, I'm not even reading the upgrades. Let me start reading the upgrades. I'm sorry for everybody that um, sees this for the first time. Electro bug. Summons an electro bug that calls down lightning to strike two nearby enemies. Don't really care about that. Haste, movement speed and fire rate. That's decent-ish. Dragon egg. This is a completely new passive. Summons egg that will hatch into a dragon in three minutes. And then on top of that, it also has a second and then a third passive that says your dragon gains eight damage every 60 seconds. This ability also works while it's in the egg. And the same thing for 10% attack speed every 60 seconds it works even in the egg. And then at the very end, you can get uh, the additional damage that the dragon got for yourself but i'm not sure if i actually want that uh i think i'm about, about going and shooting your last ammo be sure it's when enemy flicks with freeze they lose 25 percent of the max hp boss enemies lose 10 percent but this is your bullets have a 35 percent chance to flick freeze for three seconds uh enemies affected by freeze explode when killed i mean most of these are good i'm thinking about the movement speed i'm thinking about the movement speed let's just take the movement speed let's go the the simple way Movements you also seem to add attack speed and as I said attack speed and reload is pretty important for us Because the faster I attack the more lightnings I can get all around and the faster I can reload the more often I can attack again uh, Also, I can shoot a bunch of like in general attack speed and cooldown is my DPS uh, As my main damage is coming from the fact that I'm shooting all those explosives and uh, having electricity uh, electro bag again, walking speed, I don't need that, vision range, uh, not really. The movement speed, inflict burn on nearby enemies unless you run. The effect uh, occurs more often the faster you move. Yeah, that's good. And what is this? Increase bolt damage and movement speed every 10 seconds. That's also really good. Uh, what does this do, for example? Bullet speed, automatically kill enemies below 20%. Bullet speed, bullet speed. Maybe electro bag because I want this. All lightning damage is increased by 12. Increase lightning area effect by 75%. Let's go, let's go full on lightning, I guess. Why not? Although there is a lightning character, by the way. <laughs> you you saw her previously when I was showcasing the characters. So there is a lightning character that shoots electricity every XYZ shots. But still, I think this is better. I hear the, the point where once in a while I will shoot electricity and the reload is gonna reset is gonna come in. Like if this uh, if the Thunderbird over there electrifies an opponent and at that point gives me back a bullet and I'm about to reset, you know, reload. I'm gonna, yeah, I just need to not shoot. Even even if the game gives me bullets back, I, I just need to not press the shoot button and for the reload to go through. Obviously, we're gonna go with lightning damage is more insane. Now I want to make fly, fire damage more insane. I want to make fire heal us. If we get fire to heal us, here's our first little elite, which I think we're gonna destroy. Now, they changed this elite up and they made it so that um, they give you specific passives for the characters. So now I'm gonna gain something that has to either do with a spin or something with a spin. Let's see what we get specifically. We get project. Wait, Abby. You see this Abby Bullet Storm? Uh, project has plus two, fire rate minus thirty one, spread plus forty. That means we're gonna shoot uh, in general all around. That that's a very bad passive. I don't want this fire rate minus project has plus what? I don't like this at all. Uh, let's take it though, regardless, and see what this looks like. Oh, okay. Well, I still don't like it, but. Um it's not really the end of the world, honestly speaking. Uh, it's like, we lose DPS because of the attack speed drop, but it isn't really that bad. I mean, it is pretty bad, but still. I don't know, maybe we're gonna find more attack speed later down the road. Uh, let's go with burn damages more, so we get access to the ending path there. Let's continue with shooting all around. Now we're doing a super rain around us. I just want to get a bit of attack speed, so I'm like, again, like I previously was. And then we should be good to go. Honestly speaking, not really happy about the passive we got there. As I said, I did do another exper experiment run, and one of the one of the choices, not one of the choices, one of the random things I got for Abby specifically was that um, it's double the speed. Like the the attack speed of the machine gun thing is double, and you get two choice, uh, two chances to get like a specific character passive. I think the next one is at like seven minutes, eight minutes, like a lot later. And we got a unique passive here. We got when lightning strikes an enemy that is burning, create an explosion that deals 25 damage. And I also found the heal button. We're gonna pick up the overload, the unique passive. And specifically, you can go over here in synergies and see the unique passive that exists. So there are a couple of things over here that might help you if you chase them down. Real late, like uh, no ammo at all, but it's a one-shot one done type of deal. 
Uh, gun mastery 15 on everything, that's good, but you have to have like these three. And uh, yeah, let's just continue. Let's just continue. If I found something unique, then uh, so be it. But for now, I'm not gonna try to min-max and, you know, I realize everything because I don't know the names of all these passives and I don't really want to keep them in mind. Also, this this unique passive of whenever something blow, uh, burns, it explodes. Yeah, it, it starts playing attention here. Do you see everything explodes all around? In general, this is a very powerful one right now. Like, nothing seems to be surviving. I continue doing my reign of chaos. Now, I really, really, really hope that um, I find the elite curse passive or whatever you want to call it that says that I gain double the bullets in the chamber and also I get insane attack speed, but I lose damage or something like that. Because in general, I don't care about my bullet damage anyway. We found fire rate against reload rate. Well, both of these are extremely important for us. Let's begin with the reload rate, which also gives us fire rate, and we're going to get the fire rate rate later. Uh, in general, reload is obviously very, very important because like those three or four seconds that I'm not doing anything, I'm literally not doing anything. Uh, like uh, there are some other weapons obviously that have less of a reload. Well, this one has a very heavy reload. Now we're gonna try to shoot the boss down with those uh, flame shots. Flame shots. Look how long this thing lasts because of all the electricity it shot out. Flame shot. Now let's continue shooting out the boss. Let's run around at the speed of a snail, pretty much. Continue trying to defeat the boss with my projectile shots. And we got the boss. That was pretty fast. That means we're very powerful. Please give me the one I want. Bullet damage, bullet size, piercing, but you lose fire rate and max HP. Obviously not. Uh, bullet damage, minus, but increased burn damage, lightning damage, and freeze duration. Yeah, we're going to most likely for that. And we'll see. Now we're going to go for this. Let's lose damage and increase our lightning fire and everything else we're already using. Because at the end of the day, the bullets have nothing to do with what we're actually doing. My main damage is coming from electricity and flame. And the freeze is pretty relevant here, but it doesn't matter. Electricity and flame is what actually matters. Uh, reload and max ammo. I enjoy that. Reload, increase bullet damage for a minute. No, let's go with reload. 10% and 2 bullet. 2 max ammo. And also the moment I get that, every time I reload, I gain 5% for each kill I did before the reload. That's a good thing. By the way, I once again forgot to read all the passives. I'm sorry for anybody watching for the first time and me skipping everything. Uh, I'm pretty sure that a bunch of people do enjoy the min-max and do enjoy the reading through all the passives and stuff. But um, yeah, I just forget, man. I just forget. And I also don't want to be a bit repetitive. So, you know, in case somebody knows what, what I'm talking about, I'm gonna be like, yo, Sift, I know, I know, we know, we know. We have seen them the last time. Anyway, I, I, I will go back into reading all the passives. Uh, at least I'm gonna read them a bit quicker than normal, you know. At least I'm gonna read them a bit quicker than normal. Continue running around. The speed of a snail, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, we're not at the speed of the snail, what am I talking about? We're moving pretty fast. So we got the dragon egg again, we got ghost friend, which is, you know, projectile shooting ally. <clears throat> We've got magic lens, summon some magic lens that give all bullets that pierce through 3% damage and size. This bonus is increased by your summon damage. This is like a summon passive, I guess. The bullets have a chance to freeze. And bullet speed is higher and spread is less. I don't know why spread being less is considered bad. Uh, is there like a choice here? Bullet damage, automatically kill enemies below 10% HP. You know what, honestly speaking, I think I want to go for the freeze. Although I'm not really exactly sure if it's a good idea, but your bullets have a chance to... Free. Yeah, let's go with freeze, let's go with freeze. Let's go with utility here. Being able to randomly freeze opponents with all those bullets is actually good. Maybe there is even another synergy. Actually, the best thing with the freeze is that it can kill trees. Like, it's literally the only mechanic that can actually kill three <laughs> trees. So, as long as I get the 25% damage uh, part, right? As long as I get that. And also, freezing the mini bosses to do 1% of the max life damage is also really good. If I get that passive, that is. If I get the passive. Uh, there is also magnetism passive, so maybe that would save us. Help us pick up all this XP I'm running around trying to pick up. <laughs> I'm, uh, that, like... The, the bad thing with being too strong is that opponents die off screen and you have to go around and pick up all the XP. I mean, look at this. Why is there XP down here? Why did people die down there? Like, the worst part of being so broken is things die too far away from you. <laughs> shoot last time or shoot. Yeah, no bullet damage. You know what? Reload. Increase bullet damage after reload. I want to get this. Increase reload rate by 5% for every enemy killed uh, from the previous reload. So, obviously that will theoretically make it so that my reload goes up extremely fast. Because I'm obviously getting at least 5 kills. Uh, let's say 10 kills. I'm getting at least 10 kills 
per, uh, per go around. So obviously being able to, um, you know, get 50% cooldown reduction on the reload is insane. Let's continue shooting all around. Da, 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 da. I like that at the end of this, it auto reloads. Although I still might have bullets in the chamber. Actually, I'm not. Yeah, there is no chance I have bullets in the chamber. That's, that's wrong. That's the wrong thing to say, because obviously, by definition, I should not have any bullets in the chamber, even if I get bullets while this is going. I mean, look at this. Do you see that this is going up and down? Like, my bullets go up and down because of all the electricity. And we've got magnetism here, pickup range. I could go for wind speed for burn. Let's go with pickup range. Every XP pickup has a chance to refill one ammo. Uh, more pickup range and more vision. And then after picking up XP, you gain fire rate for one second. Yeah, I mean, I obviously want the fire rate for one second after picking up XP. If I could get that. It would be really nice. 35% fire rate is pretty decent. I would also enjoy gaining the actual fire rate. No. That was a mistake. And now I'm down one life. And as you see, opponents start amassing around us. I need to be a bit more careful. I obviously want to get attack speed if possible. Please don't kill me. Yeah, now, now, now we slowly start actually not being insane anymore. Makes sense, right? Because this is the part where you actually are supposed to beat the game in the previous version. Uh, I would say let's go with this. So we got movement speed again, double shot for more bullets and spread, but less bullet damage. I mean, that could be good, honestly speaking. Uh, the dagger, and I would say holy shield. This is, you get a free life pretty much every two minutes. So it's literally, you get free damage block every minute. It's as if it heals you, but proactively, right? Like you get the shield right now. If you lose it, then in two minutes, you're gonna get it back. So it's like plus one max life that you gain back specifically once every two minutes. Which is better than normal life, if you think about it. Like, it's better to have a life that refills on its own every two minutes than just having one more life. One more max life that doesn't actually heal in any way, shape, or form. Uh, chance to refill ammo on pickups. When enemies inflict with freeze, they take a lot of damage. Let's go with this. Let's go with uh, applying damage on freeze, I would say. Waiting for the cooldown to go. I need the, I need the on kill gain. A reload speed. I think that's the most important part to gain. I like that I'm fighting a million of points right now because that's pretty much free XP for us. Trying to move towards the bottom right. Uh, let's go with... Well, I don't like any of these. Could go for the dragon, but I don't wanna. Magic Lens. I could go for Magic Lens. I mean, randomly shooting through it. Bullets that pass through the Magic Lens gain bounce. Bullets that pass through gain flame. Max HP. Increase bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when you get hit. This bonus lasts 15 seconds. Heal 1 HP every 9 seconds, that's insane. Max 2 HP, but I become bigger and move, I lose movement speed. If I can go this left way, let's take this. If I can go that left way and then also pick up the, the healing every minute, uh, one and a half minute actually, then we're gonna be really good. I'm obviously trying to avoid everything here. Hope I find a bunch of XP. Let's try to shoot backwards the flames. I wanna try to pick up the XP, and then we're gonna chase down our own flames to pick up even more XP. And I found another legendary, what is this? When you inflict freeze, you also inflict burn. I mean, yeah, why not? Yeah, let's take this. Obviously, I want this. Pick up range and vision. I want this right side to get that bottom side there, but let, let's first go for this. Freeze applies burn. Uh, I still am missing the... when you, Whenever you burn something, you have a chance to gain insane healing. Uh, not insane healing, just one health, like 0.05% or whatever to heal. Uh, I would enjoy gaining that if the game allows me to get it. I hope they didn't do weird mechanics in this game, like uh, that's a very good passive, therefore it's very hard to find it. Really hope it man, my bullets are never running out. What is even happening? And I would also enjoy gaining the you know the thing that I said with the resets. Please give me any of these things. Okay, we got attack speed here, but let's actually take the healing. <laughs> Obviously, I would like to get attack speed, but the healing is more important. I literally just requested for it anyway. Come on, don't lose. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. I can throw in their attacks, and we got new opponents coming in. What are these uh, uh, blood sucking? I don't know, worms with, 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 well, what is this? <laughs> what are we even fighting? Since when are we fighting a lot of crafting horrors? Since always. <laughs> uh, burn whatever is around us. Or uh, less bullet damage. Do I care about bullet damage? Projectiles spread bullet damage. Doubles base projectiles. Shoot additional bullet behind you. And shooting your last ammo. Okay, that's like not happening. Uh, burn enemies. Let's go with this. Let's go with burn enemies that are around you when you do this. I'm st I still have not healed. It's gonna happen. By the way, this is my normal shot speed. Obviously, the normal shot speed is a joke. Okay, so now we're fighting a lot less opponents. And now we just passed the 10-minute mark. So that means that we are literally 
through the demo. Now, now we have arrived at new game territory. I mean, yeah, early access territory. Here we go. New opponents. Most likely, they just have more life, as far as I understand. I still haven't healed. By the way, the healing on how many times you heal from the flame was 0 0.5, and now it's 0 0.05. That means that every thousand opponents you kill, you heal 0. Point, like, yeah, every 2,000 opponents you kill, you might heal. Not kill, burn. Every 2,000 burn applications, you have a... Yeah, you, you heal one. If, if you're lucky, right? If you're lucky. So right now I haven't healed yet once. We're still waiting for the heal to drop. I lost my shield, what happened? Yeah, I guess I lost my shield. I made some a mistake along the line. Along the, along the way, somewhere I lost my heal. Uh, I'm no longer gaining level easily, which is really bad, obviously. Give me the reload thing. Oh. Uh, every 10 seconds gain damage and movement speed, that's decent. Increase reload and movement speed by 25% when you have the shield active. Uh, increase... I, I want this. Increase bullet jump fire rate when you get hit. I also want that too. I want this too. Fire rate up whenever you pick up XP. All of these are good choices. Bullet damage up if you don't get damaged. Uh, let's go with... Reload and movement speed, man. Reload and movement speed. Let's go for this. Let's go for reload and movement speed when I get the shield. But if you don't have the shield right now, what are you doing? Uh, I'm... I don't know, man. Maybe I should have gone for the healing related stuff. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone for the healing related stuff. I healed at long last and we're fighting an elite. And that elite is gonna provide us with some kind of passive for our character again. Uh, let's not forget that every time I freeze him, he loses 1% of his max life. So, uh, the moment I get a good freeze in, we're gonna see how much life he has. Although, I I'm not really easily able to see what exactly is happening over there. Damage-wise, that is. Because I'm trying to look in front of me. Because I'm trying to look in front of me and make sure we're not gonna randomly die. So, with pretty much everything that I can. Man, these things are survivable. Everything is survivable. Everything is too survivable for my own good. <laughs> I didn't get any of the weapons I wanted. I wanted to get attack speed and more bullets in the gun. And it was gonna be like... <laughs> machine gun power. But for now, this is going pretty well. The combo works. The combo works. Continue shooting bullets in there. Maybe the boss is gonna die. Just maybe. Okay, let's go again. I like how everything around us is getting kept at bay. Uh, I think I saw like 100 damage. I think I saw 100 damage on the freeze. I saw 100 for sure somewhere, so I start, make, I start believing. And now we got the thing. Now we got the the shield. So theoretically we have 25% more movement speed, I think, and reload speed. Movement speed is, I think reload speed is 100%. The movement speed I'm not sure about. Whoop, whoop. I need to go through here. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I want to pass through. Let me through, please. Uh-oh, we're gonna get hit. Please let me through. Please let me through. Please let me through. Okay, what is happening, first of all? Why are there so many opponents around here? I, I found a... Yeah, nice. I found a way out. Okay, now I'm gonna double back around to pick up all the XP we lost. Through the way what just happened. Because of what just happened is what I mean. Through the way of... What? And my wording sometimes is completely off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now we... <clears throat> now we are speed incarnate. I would enjoy gaining, um, you know, the passive upgrade, just saying. Where's the elite? Here's the elite. Can you please, like, go down? Not swinging, just, just go down. By the way, everything is falling off. Lightning damage is falling off. Everything is falling off. I'm about to lose my shield. Okay, I'm out. Good thing I'm full life. <laughs> like, the shield is really helpful. And I just lost the shield. That means we have less, uh, less, um, yeah, less reload now. But you know, my most important upgrade that I want to gain right now is that I reload faster on kill. Okay, reloading faster on kill right now seems to be the most important part. Also, this game needs some kind of... I mean, there is a magnetism upgrade, but still, it's really hard to find all the XP. So, um, you know what? All these games copying Vampire Survivors about the XP's on the ground uh, seem to miss the fact that Vampire Survivors has a million different ways for you to actually pick up all the XP. Will, will it be through magnets? Will it be through the mechanic that gathers all the XP in one spot? 
there are a million ways in that game to actually gain what you want. In this game, not so much. In other games that copy Bumper Survivors, also not so much. What, what are we fighting? Uh, another boss is coming towards us. And I haven't even be. I'm, I'm not even finished with it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Chill. Chill. Can I please kill the other boss first before I have to deal with that one? Because the other boss is still alive. Uh, maybe I should just start shooting on my own. And just, uh, no, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm attacking a bit too slowish. And at the end of the day, like, I think the whole idea of me attacking by hand is that the freeze does 1% damage. Like, that's literally the only reason why I would be attacking by hand. Yeah, I obviously want to go in there and pick up my uh, unique passive that just dropped. So, uh, please everybody go away. I found it. So, now, now I should no longer have re resetting. Like, as far as I know, I should no longer need to ever reload. Well, maybe, maybe as far as I know is wrong. <laughs> maybe as far all right, as I know. Oh, we pick up this. I'm about to get lasered. Increase movement speed and reload by 35% for 2 seconds after reloading. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that means even more reload. Which means even faster more reloads. Am I fighting another elite? Are you kidding me right now? I'm fighting another elite. And these guys no longer die easily. We might most... We will most likely die. Okay, yeah, I need to get out of there. Uh-oh. I need to get out of here in general. Pushing upwards, pushing upwards. Go, go, go. Let, let me alone. Leave me alone. Right click again. I got more attack speed now because I got my shield again. Which gives me... That gives me like... Reload. Let's run away. I thought it gave me reload and something else. Man, this is madness. This is madness how many things are around us. By the way, I saw something freeze and lose 100 life. That means opponents seem to have... Well, 25% of 100, that means they have 400 health. And also, I'm, once again... Oh, well, I just lost the shield. I'm fighting two elites at the same time. This one and that one. I, I don't do enough. I don't do enough. That's what happens when you don't have all the meta progression. <laughs> madness in general. Electricity has fallen off too. Most of the things have fallen off. Uh, not that I know what actually is a good build or anything, so... Just rushing through. I, I already healed with the flame once, so I can do it again. I... well, this is a problem. Let me through, please. Let me through. Okay. No! I'm trying to get through by using the flames I have. You know, the flames that are shooting once in a while. Well, let's avoid. Man, I... Actually, no. I got the passwords I requested for. Why is that guy looking at me? The main problem here is that I'm not killing things fast enough. That's literally the main problem I'm having. Oh, stay away from me, please. All of you, stay away from me. Reload happened practically. Uh, guys, if anything hits us, we die. I obviously need more healing for this. To yeah, I died. I died. I like how the guns go on. Yep, it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's let's go another one. Let's go another one. I mean, obviously, as you see, I, I'm missing the meta progressions to be able to win this. Or the build was bad. Or the build was bad. Both are acceptable answers. Uh, let's try summoning build. I would say after we can have XP, gain movement speed. What is what's over here? Glyph. Uh, Ten seconds after a few seconds, the glyph explodes on six bullets that deal ten percent damage. Oh, let's take it. Just like that, we're out. When enemy die while burning or frozen, there is a 5% chance for right to spread their status effects. Yeah, that would be good for the one we had. Start the game with your HP at half. If your max HP, bullet damage, and fire rate plus 5 per rank. Yeah, after inflicting freeze or burn, you gain a bit for one second. Obviously, that would also be insane. And this would also be insane. After inflicting freeze or burn 50 times, you gain 3% fire rate and real rate. Like, there are a bunch of things here um, that are really good for fire flame builds. Someone two seismic wards that knock nearby enemies. I have after picking up XP. I don't know, man. I don't know. The, the, you need an ultimate progression. Let's uh, let's play Lilith, a summoner, I guess. Lilith. When enemies are killed, summon a spirit. And I can either go for bat gun. Let's go for bat gun, I guess. Let's go for the best. Uh, Star mode. Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's get to it. We we got our we got our bats that are considered also summons. Let's see how this is gonna go. We got our little spirits that are flying through the screen and sniping, although they are not even getting a single kill. Very nice, very enjoyable that we got that. And uh, let's hope my first upgrade is gonna be... I don't know, the dragon, I guess? The dragon would be good. Well, we got the, the light weaponry, which is insane. 
So, summon a magic weapon. First of all, we got like reload, we got frost mage, we got attack speed, we got lightworm and repair mage. So, lightworm, when you summon a magic dagger that seeks out nearby enemies, magic dagger deals as much damage as your bullets, which right now is nine or seven or whatever it is. But the thing is that uh, one of the upgrades it has is more summon damage, and my weapon is a summon. So, uh, more summon damage means that I do more damage, and if I do more damage, then the blade also does more damage. And in general, anything that will improve us will also improve the blade. Uh, now, I hope I find the other summon too, the ghost. And I also hope I find the dragon. Uh, we found we found the ghost and we also found the sharpen, the 40% summon damage. But we're gonna go for the ghost front first. Because this thing has like 50% attack speed and then also 50% attack speed damage. In general, the ghost is insane. Ghost is insane, blade is insane. Dragon isn't really that insane, but uh, it, it gets the buffs from the rest. So if I gain like 50% attack speed, 40% damage, and then another 15 damage on attack speed and all that's so jazz. Then the dragon is also gonna gain all those stats and then it might be useful. Also, uh, I wouldn't really enjoy getting the dragon right now. Uh, the earlier I get it, the better. Uh, mostly not because of the dragon, but mostly because of the, <laughs> you know, the other passes that the dragon has. You know that every minute it gains stats. Well, I didn't get the dragon, but I did get someone attack speed. So let's go with someone attack speed, which is also my weapon, by the way. Look, now now I'm attacking faster. Look at this, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, now I'm attacking pretty faster. What is better, 25% attack speed on the weapon or 50% attack speed on the summons and also on you yourself because you are a summon weapon. I think it's pretty clear what's better. Let's continue attacking everything. Uh, I really hope, I mean, if I don't find the dragon early enough, we can pretty much delete the dragon idea. Uh, I need to literally find it right now. Because, yeah, okay, it's a dragon and all that, but like, if, if it doesn't have 100 damage at the end of the fight, it's gonna be trash. Okay, we found the dragon egg, so let's pick it up right away. Because I need to get H dragon for sure. Train dragon is doable, but H dragon is very important. I need that dragon to do 100 damage every time it shoots. Uh, I mean, I mean, I don't really need it to, but still. So we find the dragon damage. Also, because the dragon's the last passive is that I gain 10% of its own damage. That means that uh, when the dragon powers up, I will power up. And when I power up, then the blade powers up. So everything is interconnected. We didn't find the dragon passive. We find this from percent attack speed and 50% damage on all the summons. And also ghost friend shoots when I right target. Uh, the ghost friend shooting when I right target might not be that good. I mean, theoretically, it's good because it helps you pierce through wherever you want to go through. But um, it's not that good because pre before the hat, it had all the targeting, so avoid everything, please. Let's run it back. Man, I'm not doing enough damage here. And these things are really survivable. I hope my first passive for my character is going to be something good. Like, uh, I don't know. I have no idea what I can get from the passive for the character. Hopefully, it's not going to be something negative like the previous run. I mean, not negative, but counterintuitive to the build we're going for. Uh, let's get the whole shield. Two minutes gain a life. Proactively. So this is as if I got a passive that says plus one max life. Uh, that you, then, then that specific max life heals on its own every two minutes. But if you don't waste it in two minutes, then you don't gain anything. So yeah, it's it's like straight up a better healing. Yeah, a better health. It's like, yeah, it's literally like a better health. You cannot heal it with any other way, but this game doesn't have healing at all. I have to say, I have some negatives about this game. So Dev, if you're watching this, listen up. My opinion... Uh, yeah, okay, you, you can copy. Let's go here. Uh, actually, yeah, no, let's go with two additional bullets and also 50% damage, and then we go for 50% damage later. So, my opinion on the following. Like, everybody is copying a Slay the, not Slay the Spire, the Vampire Survivors, and uh, Magic, uh, Magic, whatever the other game is called that uh, Vampire Survivors is based on. When I say copied, I mean, you know, inspired off. Uh, this XP drop thing, right? Every single game that, uh, you know, is inspired from Vampire Survivors has this XP drop thing. But most of these games fail to realize that, or, or on purpose don't care about it, like, okay, maybe not fair to realize, okay, fa fa fail to realize is, you know, straight up a negative to say, so let's say they, they didn't realize just, or, or maybe they just uh, omitted on purpose, that uh, Vampire Survivors has a million ways for you to gather up the XP, like, you don't have to run around and pick everything up in Vampire Survivors, you can find a magnet, this game doesn't have a magnet, I don't mean the pickup range, right, pickup range is good and all, good thing you added it, but... You know, a magnet item on the ground that picks all the XP up. Or, or you know, aggregating XP. You know, that's also a thing that happens over there at that game. Reload, reload the movement speed. Uh, vitality. I want to go with Vitality to maybe get this uh, this healing every 9 seconds. Although I'm not sure how much that's going to save us. <laughs> but what can I say? There was no other better choice right now. Let's see what we get. Give me a good passive. Someone damage by 35%. Let's go. Someone attacks with 35%. Let's go. That's insane. Lilith on that army. So, yeah, we got an insane passive here. If, if we're not winning now, we're not winning ever. <laughs> like, if we don't win with the summon build right now, I don't see us how we can win. Actually, no, I, I will take that back. 
because I don't know what the curse is yet. Oh, by the way, the last thing I wanted to say about the whole XP on the ground. Yep. Aggregating XP is also a thing in the, in the other games. Uh, like, this game does not give you that choice. You have to run around and pick XP up from every single corner of the map that kills something. I think the game that does this thing the best... Let's go damage on the dragon now that uh, we actually found it after five years. Uh, I think the best uh, the game that does it the best is Neon Sundown. That game, um, I mean, you can say about the game whatever you want, but I have to say that the XP pickup thing is really good on that game. Like, if you pick the game, uh, if you pick the XP up on your own, then it's a full XP. But if you don't pick up the XP on your own and it just it, it magnetizes on you, like if, if you wait for I don't know 20 seconds or something, the XP doesn't disappear. It magnetizes into you and you get half of the XP. So it's like you either don't care about the XP and get half of it, or you actively chase it down and you gave, you gain the full XP. This way, everybody is happy, right? You can still play the normal way you play all these games by, you know, picking up XP and running all around, but you can also play a different way of just getting a random XP from across the map. Uh, let's go with the weaponry mastery. I want this dual wield for dual daggers. So as you see, the scythe around us goes around pretty fast. That is because attack speed in this weapon applies on all the weapons, right? It applies on the scythe, it applies on uh, on the shooting. Is my dragon alive? Yep, my dragon is alive. Actually, not alive, it's just live. <laughs> there is no alive being here. It's everything is bits and pixels anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I don't even know what I'm doing. R randomly talking about philosophy <laughs> of computers. Uh, I still have my shield, I still have my full life. I'm pretty safe, I would assume. I would hope I'm pretty safe. Oh, we got the kill pretty fast. Please give me summon related stuff. Please don't screw me over. Bullet damage up. That, that's good. Bullet size up. I don't care. Piercing up fire. Yeah, this is good because bullet damage is summon damage. We're gonna take this, okay? Summon damage 50%, summon tax 50%, reload rate 50% minus. We take this. Tome of the summoning. We literally got the best possible thing we could have gotten. Now we do a lot more thing. Now, now we attack a lot more often. We do have less uh, reload. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. The blades run around as, as fast as the universe itself. My dragon shoots very fast. Let's also gain this. Let's also gain the stats of our dragons. Or, or magnetism, honestly. Uh, what is this? After picking up, you gain fire rate. Do I even care about those things? Uh, I think we're gonna go with dragon damage. Let's go with dragon damage. Now, whatever damage the dragon has, he gives 10% of that to me. And then I give that to the blades. So everything together gets combined. Have I gotten the percentage base damage from the blades buff? I don't know if I got the 40% damage from the blades. By the way, this is going pretty decent. So if, if we lose or we win, I'm going to upload this. Because honestly speaking, I think this is a good enough uh, run to showcase the power of summons. While also showcasing how good or bad they are. Like if, if I lose right now, uh, other than the fact that it's a skill issue. Um, also, we're going to know that summons are trash, you know. Because this is like the, the min-max. I don't even know. Do I have like one or two? I, I might have one or two upgrades that are not summon related. Like the shield and the max life. But m the rest of the upgrades are definitely summoning related. So this is definitely a good one. Uh, I could go for this. Reload rate and movement speed while the shield is active. Or I could just go for reload speed straight up. Passive reload speed. Movement speed, fire rate. I think I want to go with this and then go down for this. Or you know what? I'm going to go frost mage and then try to get this going. So let's go with this, because that 1% uh, damage of the opponent is really good if I'm gonna be able to just straight up, you know, destroy bosses by shooting a million bullets in them. Uh, I wanna also see if opponents get frozen by anything else I have, like the blades or stuff. Uh, yeah, it feels like it. It feels like opponents are randomly freezing from me not doing anything. So that's actually really good. The fact that I freeze opponents by... The fact that someone freeze opponents is insane. At least... At least that's what I'm seeing, right? Yeah, I think I'm seeing someone's freeze opponents. I haven't gotten the attack speed buff on the dragon. I would really enjoy gaining that right now. Because uh, now it can get up to a thousand percent maybe. Not a thousand, a hundred percent. I would like to gain this. So, lightning to strike random and nearby enemies. I'll have a whole shield No. Attack lightning. Bullet damage. I would say bullet damage knockback. Bullet damage, you know, gives damage to me. Giving damage to me gives damage to the blade, etc, etc. We're gonna continue running around. Yep, like the, the, the scythe around us also, also does like 26. I see opponents start trying to amass, but it's not like I'm not doing that much damage. I would also gain, I would also enjoy gaining piercing on my bullets, so that when I shoot the bad ranks, they're gonna just go through everything and just freeze. 50 damage, what was that? Wow, I think the summon, yeah, like the, the ghost friend does like 50 something damage right now. 
It has a base of 22. And I guess I have more than 100% more damage on the summons. Let's go on. This is a level up. I found the freeze kills opponents, so we'll go with freeze kills opponents. Let's continue. Obviously, magnet would also be helpful for all this XP around here. And movement speed on top of that, too. Right? Movement speed and magnet is, is, is pretty good passives. Is pretty good passives. Sif talking in English. What is English? How do English people English? Let's continue. But Sif, you're not an English people. <laughs> English, you're not an English people, man. <laughs> Today my grammar or whatever it's called is completely out of the window. I don't want to lose my shield. Also, I want to pick up the upgrade that says that the shield refreshes every uh, every minute. Let's go pick up range here. I'm gonna go with that up passive. I'm gonna try to get this passive reload and movement speed while I have the shield, and then once every minute. Let's go with pick up range, as I said. Uh, I think pick up range is important in games like these, especially when there is literally no other way of picking up the XP <laughs> other than literally running over it, which, like, this is the... the I know people enjoy this. I know people enjoy, uh, you know, having to run around to pick up the XP, but there is a better way, man. Like, I don't think that that's... I think it's one of those mechanics that wasn't the first game, and, like, every single other game just copied it as it was. You pick up the XP from the ground, and that's that. Uh, yeah, let's go with attack speed on the dragon. I think we can get like, uh, let's say a 50% attack speed in a timely manner. I, I mean, obviously, if, I, if I'm alive until the end, the dragon will have gotten 100% attack speed. But uh, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, the mid game, when it actually matters that the dragon is useful. I'm gonna have gotten a bunch of damage up to that point. And we gain a bunch of XP, we gain a bunch of everything. Uh, oh, we got the double blades. Let's go, double blades. That's literally double the DPS on the blade weapon. Wherever that might be, because I have no idea. By the way, do you see how fast the weapons move? I really enjoy the fact that someone attack speed means on everything. I like that it's not like, no, someone attack speed is for the ranged summons. No, 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 it's for everything. Attack speed on the melee summons means movement speed, which is insane. I mean, it's not insane, but it's very well made and, and a good idea, and in general, a good practice to, uh, to you know, to, to have everything work in tandem with everything else. Uh, by the way, look how much XP is on the ground. What is this? Pick up range more and you have a chance to... Yeah, we're gonna go with this. More pick up range and also a chance to um, get a bullet back whenever I pick up XP. Which is really good for this specific weapon because I'm not always shooting. I'm only shooting when opponents are close to us. So, yeah. There's that. I don't think I need to explain more than that. Also, I really enjoy the fact that I'm shooting extremely fast. I'm reloading pretty slowly though. I'm reloading pretty slowly, but I am shooting extremely fast. Okay, we got um, a legendary upgrade, summon mastery, summon damage more, uh, summon attack speed more, but bullet damage less. Uh, bullet damage less is gonna be shooting ourselves in the foot, but I think the attack speed on the summons and everything else in general is uh, is a positive. It's a net positive, especially the part with summon movement speed, uh, attack speed. That's the most important part, because that will make the blade go fast, that will make the shoots go shoot. The shoots go shoot. <laughs> Also, yes, I did lose 35% damage on my attacks, but I did gain 35% damage on... Which means that the scythe lost a bit of damage and the, the, the blades lost a bit of damage. But the dragon gained damage, the ghost gained damage, you know, everything else got damage. Let's go here uh, into preparation for the re regen. Alright. Go for reload. Nah, let's go here. Continue running around. I want the thing that says that the shield gives us movement speed and cool and uh, reset. What's happening? Yeah, freezing opponents. Let's go pick up XP. I don't know what the max level is. Although from my previous run, I would assume that at, at about when I get the next passive, I will most likely not get another level. So, <laughs> literally like the previous run. So at 23, we got stuck. Not hard lock, but soft lock. What is this? Pick up range and vision. And uh, what is this? Whenever I pick up XP, I gain fire rate. Well, fire rate isn't really that useful. This is good though. Bullet damage and bullet size is good. I would enjoy this, but I think I have to go for damage. Once again, more uh, more damage means more damage for the scythe itself. So yeah, we continue. When I say scythe, I mean the blade in general. The blades, the blades, I meant the blades. Is something doing hundreds of damage? Oh yeah, the dragon is definitely doing like 176 or something. 200 damage on the dragon attacks, nice. Oh, what are those? The, the, my spirits flying all over the screen. I don't even need to attack. Right now we're extremely powerful. But I don't know how long this is gonna last. Let's go on. Picking up XP. I, I try to not attack at all when I... Look at the blades just flying around. 
It was just flying all over the place. Attacking blades. Attacking blades. Uh, I think the most... Yeah, the, there isn't a lead there incoming. So now we, we really hope that we destroy that. Let's not run into there. Let's just keep keep our distance from everything. Don't, don't touch me. I obviously want to achieve... Uh, what is it called? Freezing the boss as many times as possible. Every freeze being another 1% damage on top of whatever else I'm doing. 1% max damage. So if, for example, I freeze it 100 times, it's instantly dead. I mean, that, that's just like the, the highest possible damage, right? But I can also freeze it. I don't need to freeze it 100 times. I can freeze it 3 times for 3% damage on top of whatever else I'm doing to it already. I'll stay away from it, please. Flex. Uh, the passive of souls appearing whenever something dies is not really that crazy anymore. Come on. It does like, what, 10 damage, 15 damage. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not helpful or powerful in any way, shape, or form. Well, let's just do it in there. You know what I would enjoy gaining? I would enjoy gaining the shield that says that... Whoop, we got already the shield. Wow, that was fast. Give me something good. 25% movement speed when you kill an enemy. Useless, but I'm gonna take it regardless. <laughs> I mean, it's not useless, useless, but it's pretty mediocre in comparison to the previous one that says like 35% damage boost on someone's in attack speed. On someone's. I, I think that's what I got, right? Uh... Enemies within your vision range take 5 damage every second. Is that even good? Movement speed and fire rate. I don't know what's good or not. More health, more movement speed. Fire rate? Should standing, fire rate, max ammo, bullets. Max ammo, bullets, but no. Movement speed, maybe. Maybe vision. Vision range, the damage from glare also applies on hit effects. I don't really have on hit effects. The damage of glare is doubled. That's like 10 damage per second. Yeah, this is like a garlic, but it's not really that good right now. Let's go with movement speed, I guess. Let's go with movement speed. Being able to zoom through everything and pick up more XP, I guess, is the play. And we are seven minutes, uh, seven minutes left. Yeah, we do gain the movement speed for like half a millisecond, and it's pretty significant. I, I do see the difference, but still, it's not really that crazy good. The dragon is slowly becoming more and more crazy. I don't know if you guys see it. Like it's already attacking every half a sec almost, and it's attacking for. 222 <laughs> so yeah that eight damage of the dragon is obviously scaling with the summon damage that i have and uh it's also providing 10 percent of that to us wait a minute wait 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 if the dragon does 200 damage and 10 percent of that is on us shouldn't we be doing at least plus 20 from the damage from the dragon alone why am i only doing like 22s but say if 22 is at least 20 yeah obviously but i mean i also have base damage so what's happening on that Aspect. I'm obviously trying to go downward, and now I'm gonna start shooting upward. Start shooting downward again. You know what? Let's actually backtrack here. Oh, we're, that, that's a mistake, what I did. Actually, no, I have the scythe. Scythe is pretty protecty. Scythe is pretty protecty. Uh, I'm waiting for the next elite to appear. I mean, look at this. Did something happen to the music? Dragon is insane. It's doing like... Does it do like 300 damage now? That's what it feels like. And the thing is that we're still not done. Like, uh, the, the dragon has to scale another four times minimum. Uh, we got this. Reload and movement speed while I have the shield, which is literally what I wanted. Or fire rate on XP pickup. No, we're gonna go with this. Because I want to get this. The cooldown reduced to one minute. Yeah, I know I'm pretty close to not being able to use that one minute cooldown at all. But uh, it might save us, man. From, from the point where we lose that first life. From the point where we lose the shield. Up to the point where the shield is back. That one minute between those two m might be enough. I, I might have enough life to, you know, buy myself enough time for that thing to actually happen. I like that the scythe is pushing opponents back, man. The scythe, the scythe is different, definitely, definitely a, a good item. Continue pushing through. Obviously, the reason I'm pushing through is because I want to pick up the XP in the in-between. As you see, I'm not even afraid to not move. We continue moving all around inside this whole area. As long as opponents don't have projectiles, we're pretty good. And here we got the elite, which is pretty dangerous, obviously. We almost got hit there. I somehow did not get hit. I don't know how that happened. Please stay away from me. Please stay away from me. All of you. Oh man, I, I'm super boxed in here. I need to get away from this area completely. Nice, nice. We didn't even lose the shield. That was a very good, nice one. Let's reload. Let's shoot. Start shooting. Start blasting, as they say. As the kids say. 
I mean, the dragon is destroying over there. The dragon is uh, is death incarnate. Whoop! I I lost the shield. I'm blind. I'm blind to the fact that I lost the shield. I, you know why? Because I was looking what the dragon is doing, man. Bullet damage and piercing, yeah. And also bullet addition and pierced kill them. Perfect. No, piercing is really good for us. Like, really, really good. Because tracking bullets plus piercing is always a godsend. Literally the best thing you can get in any game. What? And he's dead? You dropped another cursed relic. And I lost life. So, movement speed for max life, no. Bullet bounces for bullet damage for max life, no. Bullet da no, no. No on all of these. I'm sorry, but they're trash. Not my fault that they're trash. I'm not gonna pick up trash. Oh, another lead. Does that mean I'm gonna gain another hero passive? Or what exactly does that mean? I would enjoy for, for, for starters gaining more health. Like, uh, I want my shield back. Stop. Stop doing that. Let's attack over there. I'm attacking the boss as much as I can. Still reloading. Let's not forget that the scythe is protecting us. As long as no opponents have projectiles that can actually attack us. We sh Whoop, we got him. We're about to die though. Uh, attack speed, walk speed, movement speed, and burn or by opponents. No, let's go with reload, I would say. Or even this, so that there is a higher chance of getting this. Let's go reload. Let's see what we get before we die. If we lose, we lose, man. Summon damage from percent Yes, Lilith summons an additional spirit when enemies are killed. Yes, 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 yes. We got really good ones. We got really good ones. Look how many spirits we're gaining here. Everything dies. Madness is happening. Do you see this? Do you see how fast the dragon attacks? Just look at the dragon attacking. Boom, boom, boom. We got it. Shield regenerates every one minute. Okay, I guess this does not work like upwards. It, it works downwards. I hate it when games work downwards. What I mean with this is that instead of the cooldown being, um, you know, 100, 120 seconds, 119, 122, you know, and instead of the cooldown going downwards, it should go upwards, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and when it hits the number 7, 120, then it gives you the shield back. But if you have the thing that says that the cooldown is 1 minute, then if you are at 18 minutes already waiting to get the shield, you boom, get the shield right away. Uh, reload and max ammo, I would say yes. I can go for damage of flame stuff, but uh, I don't think so. I could also go with fire rate on pickup, but that's also not really that crazy. But 20% pickup rate is crazy, so let's go with this. <laughs> now I obviously have a permanent attack speed here. Boost, which uh, does not help my friends. Would be nice if it also affected the friends, but it doesn't matter. Look at this, look at this. This is going really well, although I don't know what's going to happen in the last minute. And uh, I'm still afraid about getting hit from all these opponents that have appeared. Now the dragon is literally carrying us. In case it's not obvious, like wherever I shoot with a dragon, everything dies in that general vicinity. And we found the magic lens, literally what I want. Because 3% more damage with whatever passes through that and increased based on summon damage. That means now wherever I shoot something through this, it should be insane. Oh, come on, stop reloading all the time. I hate this mechanic. Let's go. Boom, 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 boom. Shoot everything through that. More and more damage all the time. Let's continue shooting. Why do I have only 12 bullets, man? 13 bullets. Let's go on, reload. Ooh, we're gaining levels extremely fast. Should I go for burn? Bullet speed against spread. What is this? Speed for piercing, speed and damage. Automatically kill all life enemies. Let's take this. Let's take this. Bullet speed means that they go faster, right? Yeah, let's avoid if we can. Do not die. Let's continue shooting all around wherever this thing is. Let's go pick up XP. Let's shoot wherever. Feel doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm fighting with pretty much everything right now. Why is my reset happening so fast? Oh, it isn't happening fast. It just felt like that. Uh, what is this? Bullet damage and speed against bullets that pass through the magic lens gain bounce. Let's go with bounce through the magic lens. I don't even know what that exactly means, but I would assume it's better than worse. Continue shooting, reload. I see the bullets, see the bullets. Once again, try to keep the shield alive. Try to also pick up a bunch of XP. Look at this madness, man. Look at this madness. One and a half minute left. Uh... Bullet damage increased by 3% when you reload. Yeah, why not? Enemies explode in three bullets when killed. These bullets... Yo, here we go with this. Here we go with this. On death explode. Are you serious? And my bullets are tracking. Like, they are gonna die in the style of my bullets, which is those tracking... Uh, I mean, look what's actually happening on the screen right now. <laughs> you see this? 
This is madness. Yeah, that's a successful build, not the previous one. Although, I have to say, I still believe that the previous build was uh, obviously not very fairly met with um, negative buffs. <laughs> you know, oh, you want to upgrade your passive? How about you attack slower? <laughs> let's go with reload or damage. Yeah, let's go with speed and damage. The more damage I gain, the more damage the blades gain. And the blades are already pretty powerful. Look how fast the dragon attacks. Look how fast the dragon attacks. And it does like 400 damage. I mean, look at this. This is madness. 400 damage per smack. Dragon is insane. Da, 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 machine gun. Heavy machine gun. Let's continue shooting wherever the lens is. That's the good thing with uh, tracking bullets, man. You don't need to attack opponents when you can just attack wherever. And then they get boosted and you still attack the opponents. Uh, bullets passing through apply burn. Attack speed, walk speed. Let's pass through apply burn. What is this? All the effects of magic lens is double. The magic lens is halved. Okay, whatever. Now I also apply burn. Now I also apply burn. Not that I really care about that. Are we done? 30 seconds are left, and I don't see anything being even remotely close to attacking us. I, I never healed my two life that I lost. Not that it matters. Uh, you know what? I think the shield did its job. I think the shield is really good. Like... Uh, First of all, see how fast the dragon is. Like, whoa, 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 yeah. Like, imagine if I had the, the damage boost and the attack speed boost on, on the dragon earlier. Man, I think the dragon on its own can really carry pretty much everything. Look how fast the attacks. Although, honestly, speed, what, what happened? Oh, we win. Okay. We won. We got 13k. Easy life. Look at all these passives. Love it. Go to main menu. And, uh, yeah, I mean, at this point... You, the only thing that actually matters is gaining all these uh, crazy late game passives. Like, what? look at this. Every third shot has infinite piercing and bullet and <laughs> size. And double bullet size. The shot also deals 100% extra damage if you level up to the max. Like, what? Every 50 kills, your gun enters the ethereal state. While ethereal, your gun does not consume ammo and lasts for 2 seconds per rank. So that's 10 seconds. Every 50 kills for 10 seconds, you are insanely fast. If you have one exactly summon, gain summon damage and summon attack speed, 10%, so 50% damage uh, on the summon attack speed damage if you have one summon like that. So, like, this is literally the dragon build. Like, you go for this, you get the dragon, you have 50% attack speed and summon attack speed on the dragon, and you go ham, and, like, you gain one health every fifth level, you gain 3% XP, per you gain... You heal one every five levels, this is insane. Anytime you would take lethal damage, instead destroy one of your summons to prevent death. Like, insane. Uh, when you HP drops to 1, instantly heal to 3, activates once per game, it says, but here at the bottom it's 1 out of 5, so if this activates, for example, 5 times, it's insane, otherwise I don't know what the point of leveling this up is. In general, there are a bunch of things that are really important, like this, this is a thing, I think this is the most important one, this says every 1500 kills, which is gonna get reduced to 100, uh, to 1000, enemy killed will drop an item that heals you for 1, reduce the threshold by 100, um, for every level. So if you have this at level 5, every 1000 kills you get a heal, which is... It might sound not good, but it is good. Like, you kill enemies pretty fast. When your HP drops to 1, gain invincibility for 5 seconds per rank. I mean, I'm not gonna go with this. Anyway, it doesn't really, really matter. Uh, I think this is good. 6 bolt that deal 10% damage reduces time. It takes some of the glyph by 1 per rank. So the rank only makes it so that you get more of these. After we got XP gain, after inflicting freeze or flame, summon two seismic. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm gonna do this later at some other point. Anyway, this is going to be it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the run. I definitely did. If you did, drop a like, help out the channel and the algorithm, etc. And as always, thanks for the Patreon and the member supporters. It's really helping. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Once again, uh, thanks for watching, and see you guys around.